It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 3rd of December. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will stay very mild through the weekend and mostly dry. Then rain returns next week. In fact, pretty much the entire week looking wet at times and unsettled and maybe stormy. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country this morning. We have ridging all across the deep south. The primary storm track is a bit north of here. And of course, the ridge will keep us like springtime through the weekend. Early this morning, temperatures are mostly in the 40s, although we got a couple of upper 30s over East Alabama. Highs today will likely be in the mid-70s in many spots, 15 degrees above average. Got some fog issues to start the day for the southern half of the state. That's a dense fog advisory there for the counties in gray. That fog will dissipate by 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. And around the nation up north, some winter weather issues near the Canadian border with snow expected there. Here's the severe weather outlook today. No severe storms expected. There could be some thunderstorms west of the state. Pretty much the same thing tomorrow. And then on day three, Sunday, for the first time in a while, we have a low-end marginal risk of severe storms to find from near Houston up to Shreveport, Little Rock, and the western tip of Kentucky. And there could be a rumble of thunder across the northern half of the state late Sunday night with a cold front coming in, but severe storms are not expected here with that feature. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Wettest weather in the country? All of a sudden, down here is the pattern flips and we go wet. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts between two and three inches for the northern half of the state, one to two inches for the south between now and Friday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at 3. Again, uh, we note little trough well to the west, but again, for us, no change. Sunny and very mild, mid-70s today, like springtime. Tomorrow, again, we'll be well up in the 70s, 72 to 75. The sky partially sunny. The GFS depicting there could be a few isolated showers near the northwestern corner of the state. This is the high-res NAM, really not showing much. So most of Alabama dry tomorrow. And pretty much the same thing Sunday. We will mention isolated showers Sunday for the northern half of the state. Otherwise, a mixture of clouds and sunshine highs, again, 72 to 75. And then Monday, here comes a cold front. Uh, rain likely Monday, cloudy. Uh, there could be some thunder. We don't expect any severe weather. And it will be a cooler day, the high Monday, uh, dropping back into the 60s for the northern half of the state, still 70s for South Alabama. Now, Tuesday, uh, we have seen other runs that look dry, but now the GFS wants to stall the front out as it becomes parallel to the upper air winds. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, so we'll bring in the chance of showers on Tuesday with a high 57 to 60. It's going to be the coolest day of the week. This is Wednesday. We're still wet as the front just hangs around and little ripples of low pressure move along the front. Uh, Wednesday rain likely. Could be warmer. The high may be approaching 70 on Wednesday. Thursday, we're mild, cloudy, showers, maybe some thunder. And this is a week from today, Friday the 10th, the big trough in the west of 588 upper high over the Bahamas. And again, evidence that uh, we could see a few showers around. We note that snow possibility out in uh, Colorado. Looks like maybe one of their big, first big snows of the season there, if this verifies. But look at the instability here. The air very unstable over the southern half of the state. And uh, we're going to have unstable air for the latter half of next week. So at this point, we don't see any specific evidence of that. But uh, we might see some strong storms toward the end of next week at some point. We'll have much better clarity, of course, by early next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 12th, troughing north and east of the state. And drier air pushing in here with a departing storm system off to the east. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between 3 and 4 inches between now and the 17th of December. And we could use some rain. Understand we're starting to see evidence of abnormally dry conditions in the drought monitor, so this is not necessarily bad news. And the temperatures will be over 70 through Sunday. A, uh, a cool down next week with highs mostly in the 60s, maybe touching 70 toward the end of the week. And the latest CPC outlook, if you're a big cold weather fan, you don't want to see this. This is suggesting temperatures above average here across the Deep South. This is for the period December 10th through December 16th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook.com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.